my least favorite thing about BMT would probably have to be Today on Airman Vision, we asked newer airmen, what was your least favorite thing about BMT? Also, if you're a new airman and you want to get involved with videos like this, use the contact information in the description below. Definitely, definitely haircuts. Cause you see, I got the little curls going. Ah, ah. And then at BMT, they just balled it all like this. Everything bald. So that was by far my least favorite. My least favorite thing was days when our flight just wouldn't get along. Sometimes we would have these days where we just wouldn't click and it was really, it really sucked because we really did want to be the best. We really did want to be the best flight and have this teamwork and be like, hoorah, basic training, Air Force, yeah. We, had, we did get Commander's Excellence because we had, we had that grit and we had that teamwork. We had that, we had that deep brotherhood. Hoorah! When we had those days where we would have those hiccups and we just have those bad days that would just really bring us down and we hated that probably it, it coincides with the hardest i guess was getting along with everyone having to deal with the same people um for eight and a half weeks it was uh pretty challenging but you know you make friendships and uh i know i made some friendships that'll last forever but yeah that was definitely the hardest part just getting along with everyone on a daily basis or at least trying to showering at beast week because that's you're with 100 other dudes in a shower or bathroom that has 13 shower heads and half of them work to where you're trying to shower 150 guys within the time of what whatever they give you 40 minutes or whatever and you're all close quarters naked trying to get through shower get cleaned up dressed and then back out to your tent ready to do your nightly activity chores whatever eat but yeah that was definitely one of the least favorite things about BMT is definitely showering at Beast. I hated being cut off from the world uh, not really knowing what was going on like I don't know, what if the McDonald's sign wasn't yellow? What if it was green? I wouldn't know because all you see is just what's going on during BMT. Among the red rocks and big blue skies of Sedona, Arizona, you'll find one of the few McDonald's in the world with non-yellow arches. They're painted in the most fabulous of shades turquoise. We now return to your regular programming. I hated that I wasn't able to just call or talk to my dad or sister to vent after a hard day. Uh, I really, I guess, I don't know, I got homesick. Well, I personally did not like how many classes we had. We spent so many hours inside of class and it was just day after day and that really gets you. It's really hard to stay awake. Punishment as a group whole, I mean, that's really common now, but your whole flight gets punished. So when I was a decent trainee, I knew what I was doing, but to be punished as a whole because your whole team couldn't get it together was one thing that I had to bite the bullet for. And that's also another thing that I, uh, that was my least favorite was the basic military training has changed a lot over throughout history. So now it's not like the army or anything. You can't get smoked individually. They cannot curse at you. They cannot get within uh, a foot of you. It's like a 12 inch rule. So they really took out that aspect because they don't want to hurt anyone. The wingman policy, like I'm 25 years old going in. So I was pretty independent before going to BMT. But at BMT, you have to have a wingman with you constantly. So even if you're just going to the bathroom, you have to take someone with you. So that got a little bit frustrating for me at times. We had 52 people. Some people say like they lost like 10 people during basic training, we lose seven. We only lost three people. One of them, he just, he just, he threw in the towel. He just couldn't handle it. It was, it was really sad. And then two people, they, it's because they got medically hurt at basic training. They were just going too hard. All those three people, it was just the worst days of basic training. It was like we lost a brother. It just really sucked. That was that was this thing that I hated. The heat and like I said, missing family. It was really, really hot in Lackland, Texas. The summertime, every day just drenched in sweat. Uh, shower in the morning, shower at night. You'd be sweating while you were asleep. I came from North Carolina, so I was pretty used to the heat, but it was still a shock. Um, you know, you're outside a lot, you're running around a lot, you're doing PT almost every day. Uh, and the heat can really get to you. We didn't have a whole lot of uh, heat casualties, at least not in my flight, but it does happen. I would have to say my least favorite thing about BMT was drill. Yes, graduation was awesome, and when you're out there and you're throwing all those movements around uh, for ceremony, it's awesome, but learning drill for me, God, I 
hated it. I think I primarily hated it a lot because I was the like I was the fourth element, so I was right up front and like in the back of my head, I'm like, God, if I screw this up, everyone who's watching is gonna see it. I've never been a person to be someone who is like in front of crowds. I never played sports. I never did anything that required some sort of performance. And then I am in BMT where I'm gonna perform a graduation ceremony and I'm the first one, like literally the first row of people. That was scary and I hated it. So no one told me about KP duty. Uh, I was not a fan of that one. And if you get KP duty, which most of you will, don't volunteer for pots and pans unless you wanna smell like lasagna juice. And managing teamwork was my least favorite thing about basic training because you have 50 people, 52 people from all different parts of the country, some all different parts of the world. We actually had a guy, he was 40 years old from Kenya. Some people really like were motivated, some people weren't. So what we did, what I did was lead by example. I knew that using words and saying, come on, let's go, let's go, that wouldn't work at all. People would just ignore. But what if you, if you helped them, if you're their wingman, if you're like, hey, we're gonna make this bed, hoorah! In three minutes together, we're gonna do this real quick. Hoorah! We're gonna get all our laundry done as soon as we can. We're hungry. MTI, what's the next thing you want us to do, sir? What is it? And and having having that teamwork help to motivate everyone and leading by example is the best way to motivate people at basic training. Hoorah!